Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mosley and today I'm gonna give you another max test. So this is also in one of my Mosley Tries Mask series. Um, and today I'm gonna try not a sheet mask, but this time it's a mask in a jar. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Mask and it is um, the yellow kind or you say golden kind. Um, it's in, it has three pure clays and yuzu lemon. Um, personally, I've heard a lot of uh, good things about this whole series, like every single kind. Um, but this one, I don't hear much about it. It also, um, I don't know. I just like the, I, I just like the idea that it had the yuzu lemon in it. I feel like it's gonna smell really good. And yeah, um, the reason that I start with this is because I actually got it in Walmart recently. And I got them on a sale, and it was, I think, $7. The original price should be a little bit over $10. Um, and I will say $7 is a really good deal. And I just took them. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And also it says, clarify and smooth. Recently, I've been eating a lot of spicy stuff. I've been eating a lot of junk food. And my skin is just, like, mad at me. And we're going to try out that. So I've already washed my face wash my face and I'm just gonna use this Muriel Bad Skew Skin Care Facial Mist a little bit on my face because I feel like my face is like overly dry right now okay that's that's a little bit of water I don't want it to be too much so like the mess doesn't work at all and that would mess it up um so I'm just gonna open it I have not opened it yet this is the exciting moment all right, so right off the bat, it's just very, very straightforward. It's just a jar of mask, and there's nothing else. It didn't came with any kind of spatula or any kind of tools to take it out, but luckily I have my brush prepared for this, so I'm ready to go. Um, for the jar, I th this is... Let me twist it up. So it's golden. The whole thing is the goldenish color, and I have to say this amount is pretty much good enough for me. I think this is going to run for a couple times for me, and you have a little tab on there, and then, yeah. Um, I smell, after smelling this, if you want to look at that, this is what it looks like. It does smell kind of good. It does smell kind of refreshing, but it's not very, very strong scent. So personally, I do like that. I don't like my facial mask has too strong scents, unless it's something I, I like. S say, rose or, I don't know, like, something along that line. That, like, fresh scent. I like those, but I don't want it super, super fragrance. Um, so I'm just going to dip my brush in it like that. You know what? I'm stupid. I, I don't have a mirror. I didn't bring a prepared mirror. I'm just going to use the little screen I have besides my camera. So, yeah. It says it's smooth, smooth and clarify things. And I just want it really work for my uh, skin right now. I have to say my skin is like a really good sign to tell people how is my life going on. If I'm living super, super happily which means I'm being really lazy. Um, it won't tell. You have a lot of acne just to tell people, hey, this girl has not been sleeping during nights. She's having all-nighters, nights after nights, and she's eating a lot of junk food, and she's watching TV a lot. Like, this is my skin telling people what I'm doing. But, you know, it's it's okay. It's, it's fine. Um... Because I cannot, my screen is like really small, I cannot tell if it is even or not. So please, if it bothers you that I'm not applying it evenly, I'm really sorry. I apologize, I apologize first, um, just to make sure, you know, I'm not intentionally making you feel uncomfortable. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about this. Um, if you haven't watched my other series of video, um... I also have other stuff. Um, you might want to check that out. And I'm almost done. I have to say, the whole fragrance, I really like it. It's not super, super strong. If you um, smell, like, if 
after you apply it on your face, you can't smell it. But I do like it has a little bit of smell on it, and I'm applying a lot of this. Let's see. Let's see the directions. What does it say? How about you want me to? Okay. It says apply an even layer to clean dry face. Check. Avoid eye and lips area. Check. Leave off for 10 and 15 minutes to 15 minutes. Remove with water in circular motions to exfoliate. For best result, use three times a week. In case of contact with eyes, rinse them immediately and thoroughly. Okay. So I'm just applying a little bit more on my face. It says even layer. So I'm trying to make it like even, but I don't know if this is like overly thick or not. But I'm just going to go with it because he doesn't say anything. I'm just going to go with whatever I think is right. And if you notice, half of my face is yellower than the other one because I open up my, uh, turn on my, uh, one of my, I don't know how to call this thing. One of the light, but I don't know how to call this light. And... So that's why my, half of my face looks yellow. I just want to try out how's the best lighting for the videos because usually when I would do editing, I seems like my lighting always goes a little bit dark compared to the video. I mean, like when I'm filming it. So I'm trying to like make it a little bit lighter than what it is. But I don't think the yellow light works well. So. Let's just try it out. I'm still like a, a baby here in the YouTube world, so it's okay. We'll try it out. We'll, we'll know. Okay, so I have applied a very thick layer, I would say. It's a very thick layer, and this color looks great on me. I kind of want to just wear it and go out, be like, hey, how are you doing, voice? You like me? You like my face? You like my makeup? Mm. Yeah, I like this color actually. I really like my, when my facial mask has this, like bright, vibrant color. But on the other hand, you're concerned like, oh my gosh, what if this dye my face? You know, you have that thoughts, but maybe it's just me. Okay, and I'm gonna get my phone and set a timer for it. So, it has been 10 minutes. Um, I was gonna do 15, but then I realized my skin currently is like too, too dry. And it may not be a great idea to do 15 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do 10 minutes. And here I have a whole bowl of water, uh, warm water. And I have this little thing. Um, it's one of the Echo Tools facial mask remove stuff. Um, and... It says leave on 10 to 15 minutes and then remove with water in circular motion to exfoliate. So I also get my mirror just to make sure I can see all the things are removed. I have to be honest, like if you look this close up, do you see how scary that is? It gives me so much uncomfortableness just looking at it, but it's okay. It's fine. We can do with uncomfortable. And I'm just going to dip this into the water real quick. Give it a little squish. And now you basically just look a little bit darker. Um, I'm just going to slightly use my finger first and then try to use the, um, cause use the tool. Because it's supposed to remove your facial mask really, really fast. And I'm just going to have my... Ooh, this part went wide a little bit. Mm, interesting. So I'm trying to exfoliate it, but I think 10 minutes are, is already too long for my current skin condition. That's why it's like not able to move that fast. I don't know. I'm just gonna wet, wet, wet. I'm just gonna wet it all up first, so I can't move it in circular motion in a bit because right now I cannot even move it like in circular motion it cannot exfoliate because the itty bitty bits they don't move they're stuck on my face so now I have pretty much 
try to exfoliate it around my face already and I'm just gonna use the tool try to see if there's any difference on my face Okay, I'm back. After I thoroughly washed my face and get rid of all the itty bitties on my face, I am here to give you a final review. How did I think of this? I liked it. I actually liked it. Usually I don't like any mask that is not sheet mask just because I'm lazy washing it out. It's just a lot of work and putting it on is a lot of work. You put it on, you have to wash your fingers or wash your brush. You know, that's like all sort of stuff. And I'm that kind of lazy that I don't want to do anything other than just open it up, put it on, take it off, good. But for this mask, I actually, like I mentioned, for the fragrance part, I like the fragrance. It has a little itty bitty fragrance. It's not super, super horrible. You put it on, you basically don't smell anything, so that's really good. I like how much um, the little grinder things in it. So if you look into the mask, like I showed you a little bit earlier, you can see a little bit bumps on my face and those are I think it's the exfoliating bees in it and those actually did a good job on exfoliating my skin and currently I really feel my skin is not lived it's super super dry it's not over drying it does feels really really soft and I don't know I, I just really like it and it feels really smooth it's just it did everything like the mask said it would it would do so from that part I would give it a 5 out of 5 and for the tool, the Echo Tools I used today, I have used it before. This tool I've been loving a lot. It's just because when uh, I used to do this kind of matte kind, kind of facial masks, this always helped me to remove it really, really fast. And today it works the same. Using my finger, it just takes forever to take it out. But this mask, um, it works super, super well to get it off when I'm using this Echo Tools. Um, and this tool also comes up with a little bit exfoliating this kind of function in it. So even if you're just using a neutral like moisturizer or kind of a moisturizing facial mask, I think this will give you a little bit minor exfoliated. But only one thing bothered me a lot is after using the mask, my tool get a little bit dirty. And if you can see this like itty bitty stuck into it, I still have to like wash it for a couple times to get those out. But other than that, there's nothing bad. So yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment below. I would really appreciate it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's for all today. See you later. Bye!